afternoon, everyone. I'll be speaking on science of music. Because for over 200 years, the European equitempered scale, the musical scale of Europe, has invaded the music of all countries in the world with their harmoniums, pianos, and now the synthesizers. So whether it is Chinese music, I mean Chinese original music, or whether it is Japanese music, or Indian music, or say Spanish music, or Egyptian music, all that is invaded currently by European 12-tone equitempered scale. And this European equitempered scale consists of 12 notes within an octave, and these 12 notes are placed precisely at a distance of 5.94631% increase in frequency over every note. And therefore, we call it as an equitempered scale. As against this, the Indian scale, which is about 2,000 year old and documented by people like Bharata in Natya Shastra, actually consists of 22 natural shrutis or natural swaras. However, the science of this Indian scale was largely not known, and therefore I decided to do some research work in this. Soon I realized that a lot of science is waiting to be discovered under the iceberg of music. And this is because when we play a musical note on a string, at what position do you play the note is mathematics. The creation of sound and transmission of sound is physics. And later, when the sound reaches the human brain, what happens in the human brain is music. So you can see that even before music is created, a lot is happening in mathematics and physics. Let us now see how is actually music created using a string. We use two types of notes when we create music on the string. One is steady notes, which are called as shrutis. They are 22 in number, and we stay on them for a period of 20 to 40 milliseconds. We have to stay, because that is the time taken by human ear to be able to perceive, analyze, and understand the musical note. And we also use the connecting notes, which connect the steady notes, which are called as nadas. Now let us see an, an actual demonstration where we use the steady notes and the moving or the fleeting notes. In between two fundamental tones, which is and in between these two sharjahs, there are innumerable frequencies or nadas. For example, we'll play again. Innumerable nadas between two fundamental tones or two sharjahs. All these are innumerable frequencies and between these frequencies, are sitting 22 fixed positions or 22 shrutis where we can actually stay to create Raga Sangeet. For example, I am staying at this position which makes this particular frequency a shruti. I am again staying here. So this is the Gandhar, this is the Rishabh and in between are the Nadas. So this is a Shruti, this is a Shruti and in between are the Nadas. Again, this is Gandhar and this is Tivra Madhyam. And in between again are nadas. So when we play a string, what is actually happening is, the string is giving out various natural sounds. Because the string is vibrating in its full length, in its two parts, in its three parts, four parts, and five parts, creating a range of natural sounds. If we take the frequency just for simplicity, 
the frequency of the fundamental note or charge as 100. When it vibrates into two parts, it gives a frequency or a sound of 200, three parts, 300, four parts, 400, five parts, 500, and so on. So the first five natural notes which come from the nature by striking a single string give us the sa, the pa, and the ga. So sa, ga, and pa are considered as the first three natural harmonics. And they come at a frequency ratio of 100 to 125 to 150. So when we say sa, ga, pa, whatever is the frequency of sa, ga will be 25% higher and 50% higher. Sa, ga, pa will always be at 100 to 125 to 150. And in the equitempered scale, they are at 100 to 126 to 149.83. And therefore, equitempered scale is dissonant, not consonant like the Indian scale. Now, these three shrutis give rise naturally to seven shrutis. And how does that happen? Sa, ga, pa, madha, sa, pa, ni, re. So, there are three triads which are placed each at a frequency ratio of 100 to 125 to 150. So, three becomes seven. And being natural, you ask any child with a little sense of music to sing Sare Gama Padhanisa, the child sings Sare Gama Padhanisa very easily. Sa ni da pa ma ga re sa very easily. Why? And then you see that actually this whole spectrum is Sare Gama Padhanisa. It is Sare Gama Sare Gama. So the same pattern is repeating again. And therefore, in fact, these four basic notes of Sare Gama give us the secret code for 22 Indian Shrutis. You simply take the frequencies of Saregama as shown here and take the percentage differences as shown here, 12.5%, 11.11 and 6.66 and then simply plot the secret code. The 12.5%, 11.11%, the difference of 1.0, 125, 6.66%, the difference again of 1.041666, the same difference taken here, and the fourth note is the remaining distance. So we have a yellow distance, the red, the blue, and the red. Yellow, red, blue, and red. Take a string and simply put it on. Exactly the same code, and you are there with 22 Shrutis coming directly from nature. These Shrutis were called as Purna Shrutis, the yellow one, Pramana Shruti, the red one, and Nuna Shruti, the blue one, by Bharata Muni 2000 years ago. Now we will actually see the position of these 22 Shrutis and how they are played on the string. Now we shall play 22 Shrutis and I shall show their precise positions on any string. Firstly, Ati Komal Rishab it's playable exactly at 94.92% length of the string. The higher variety of Komal Rishabh is playable at 93.75% of the string. And the difference between the two is Shuddha Rishabh is playable at 90% of the length of the string and Tiura Rishabh is playable at 88.88% of the string and the difference between the two similarly Ati Komal Gandhar is playable at 84.37% of the string so all the 22 natural notes have their precise mathematical position on the string. We will move quickly. Shuddha Madhyam at 75% of the string. The higher version or Ekash Shruti Madhyam at 74.07% of the string. Tivra Madhyam at 71.11% of the string. Shuddha Nishad at 53.33%. 
तीव्र निषाद है 52.67 परसेंट एंड तार शर्ज एट 50 50 परसेंट ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग so what do we see here music is nothing but mathematics played on the string and on a single string you can actually play all the three octaves one between 100 and 50 the other is compressed between 50 and 25 and the third is compressed between 25 and 12.5 no wonder that galileo galilei said god has written the book of nature in the language of mathematics and the wonder is the mathematics remains the same on any instrument with any player any time and any place in the world now when i reached this stage the major problem was how to transpose these 22 notes into 12 keys of harmonium because harmonium only has 12 keys and therefore we had to do do a lot of internal structuring and restructure the harmonium to place 22 shrutis under the 12 keys this is a 22 shruti harmonium and we can see that this harmonium is provided with extra knobs in order to accommodate 22 shrutis i shall now demonstrate to you how we can play 22 shrutis in one scale we are going to play this harmonium in the scale beginning from f to f starting from sharja Komal Rishabh has two varieties firstly the lower one or ati komal rishabh and for for providing the higher variety or higher frequency of komal rishabh all we have to do is to pull the knob just below the komal rishabh for example ati komal rishabh and when i pull the knob ati komal rishabh will become komal rishabh shuddha rishabh tivra rishabh ati komal gandhar komal gandhar shuddha gandhar तीव्र गंधा शुद्ध मध्यम एक श्रुति मध्यम और द हायर वराइटी ऑफ मध्यम एंड सो ऑन सो वी हेड ए लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी विद द नॉब वॉज इन साइड एंड हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी सो द ट्वेल्व कीज वी वेर एबल टू एकोमोडेट ट्वेंटी टू म्यूजिकल नोट and this way the world's only patented 22 shruti harmonium was created since we knew the mathematics and physics of all the frequencies of the notes we were able to create a 22 shruti metallophone a novel musical frequency analyzer which has electronic circuits inside and with that we are able to actually analyze the sung and the played shrutis instantly which are you can actually see them here and we also produce the world's first 22 shruti tanpura so this was our uh, you know attempt to preserve the indian natural scale of 22 naturally tempered notes vis-a-vis the european equitempered scale of 12 equitempered notes now whenever you do research serendipity happens and serendipity as you know is an unexpected new totally unexpected finding comes and we also got this finding and that finding was we were able to produce sound of accordion on 22 shruti harmonium and this was a god's gift we did not actually design the instrument for this but that's what happened now when the knobs are inside we get the lower shruti and when the now knobs are outside we get the higher shruti to play accordion we need to play both the shrutis and therefore
Now this instrument is ready to produce the sound of accordion. So that was accordion on 22 Shruti harmonium. In the end, I would only say that understanding science of music only makes us more musical, more creative and more innovative. Thank you.